In September 2016, the crew of HMS Daring waved goodbye to their friends and families for a nine-month deployment to the Middle East. It was a routine deployment, but that was soon to change. As we were making our way out to the area through the Mediterranean, we had an indication that the conflict in Yemen had changed uh, fairly significantly in terms of tempo uh, and the threat that was posed in the Southern Red Sea to any parting, passing merchant vessels or, or shipping. Um, so some very rapid uh, replanning and some site re-rolling and we were deployed into the Southern Red Sea for the, first, uh, or for the last three months of 2016. The Type 45 destroyer operated for 50 days in this high threat region, well within reach of anti-ship missiles. They spent 97 hours at action stations, ready to react to any threat, the rest of the time in defence watches. So when you go into defence watches, only half the ship's company is up at once. Uh, so you actually, I find, personally, the ship is quieter. But when you go to action stations, clearly everyone is up, um, uh, up and around, ready to uh, operate and do whatever they need to do. It's really important that when you've got 260 sailors on board the ship, all in one place, living and, and working on board uh, that, that ship. You can't go home, they can't have that time away. So actually you have to be quite open, you have to be quite honest. You have to trust each other. The actions of the ship's company of HMS Daring allowed 800,000 tonnes of shipping to pass through the narrow channel, the primary trade route for goods to Western countries, protecting commercial and economic interests on a global scale. This deployment also saw the new Wildcat helicopter used extensively for the first time. It's an incredibly powerful aircraft and getting off the ship was, was, was easy really. Um, getting back on was fine. And in those sort of temperatures, you know, we were looking at 40 degrees, uh, that should be challenging, but it wasn't because of how capable the aircraft was. I was very lucky to operate that aircraft. Daring's 260 strong crew were praised for their versatility, professionalism and dedication, delivering protection to merchants and seafarers in a dangerous and volatile region on behalf of Her Majesty's Government.